work in the oldest fetal treatment center in the world, then we can be proud of an incredible array of operations and treatments that have been developed, but we still have a lot of unknowns. My name is Tippi McKenzie. I'm a pediatric surgeon. My colleague Mary Norton and I have recently formed a Center for Maternal Fetal Precision Medicine. Tippi is a great laboratory scientist. She has her own lab. She, you know, does that bench research, and I'm more of a clinical researcher. So I think there's many ways that we complement each other both in the work that we do, and we also just have the same passion. Right now, uh, fetal surgery is limited to doing uh, interventions for severe or fatal anatomic anomalies. And we think that by developing uh, stem cell related therapies or medical therapies, uh, we can improve the health of babies with a whole variety of birth defects. Uh, 73 uh, can distinguish the and what we need to do is to bring teams of people who are expert in the clinical care, who are expert in the science, who are expert in the development of biology. We need to create those teams who are committed to helping the ultimate outcome of these patients. The culture is uh, this uh, kind of relaxed intensity where people are, you know, relaxed about performing the experiments but the overall goal of getting to the result is always intense. So people are here at night, on weekends, but they're not hiding data. They're sharing data, they're working together, uh, and they're collaborating. We're working on a project involving a serious kind of inherited anemia. In the past, these families have had children that were generally stillborn and haven't been able to survive. And through a combination of transfusions during the pregnancy and stem cell transplants, we're hoping to be able to really allow some of those babies to be born and have a normal life. I am so excited about this program. My dream ever since medical school has been to develop stem cell transplantation for fetuses with congenital anomalies. It's just a matter of being able to do this therapy safely and effectively. And once we achieve it in one disease, we would be able to apply it across the board.